and welcome to 3-3. Today we're going to be talking about two-digit dividends. Um, so our dividend is the number that is inside of our division house. Okay, so our goal is that we're going to be able to carry out division with and without remainders. Now that's a vocabulary word we're going to talk about on the next slide. So let's get started. Okay, so our vocabulary words are highlighted in yellow. The first one that we're going to talk about is dividend. The dividend is the number that is being divided. Okay, so when I look at this one, I would say 36 divided by 3. So 36 is being divided into three equal parts. So that's the dividend, that whatever's inside our division house or the first number. Then the divisor tells you how many groups we're dividing it into. Okay, and then the result or the answer to a division problem is called the quotient. So a remainder, here's another vocabulary word we have here, the remainder is the number or part left after you divide. Okay, so you use R to represent the remainder. So after I've divided up my pieces into equal groups, if there are some left over, then I divide it. That's my remainder. Okay, so we'll talk a little bit more about that on the next slide, so let's get started. Eli donates his toys to five different charities. He has a total of 75 toys to donate. Eli donates the same number of toys to each charity. How many toys does each charity receive? So T is going to represent the number of toys. So I know that I need to do 75 divided into five equal groups to see how many each charity gets T. So first we're going to divide the tens. Seven divided by five is one. We're going to write one in the quotient place over the tens place. Okay, then I'm going to multiply five times one, and that's five, so that number's going in right here. Then I subtract, seven minus five is two, Okay, and then I bring down. So my little uh, wrap that I have for you is this. Ready? Divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. Divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. So you can notice here. Divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and then we bring it on back. Divide, multiply, and subtract. We just kind of keep doing that until we can't bring anything else down. Okay? Hopefully that will stick in your head. You'll be really good at remembering. Divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. So here we go. Anyways, now we got off on tangent. So I'm going to bring down my 5. So now I'm doing 25 divided by 5. That is 5. Then I multiply 5 times the number I just wrote down, which is 5, and that's 25. And subtract, and I get 0. I have nothing else to bring down, then I know I am done. So the model shows five groups of 15. So our model here, I have five groups, one, two, three, four, five, and how many do I have in each group? 15. So 75 divided by five is 15. Each charity gets 15 toys. Now let's try one with regrouping. All right, so here we have our second example. Caleb is putting his basketball, sorry, baseball cards in an album. He has 57 cards, and he can put four cards on each page. How many full, now that's huge right there, pages will Caleb have? Will there be any cards left? So we're dividing it into equal pages, 57 into four equal pages, and then we want to know, are there any cards that won't fit on a full page? All right, so we're going to divide. I'm going to sing it again. Divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. Divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. Here we go. 5 divided by 4 is 1. 4 times 1 is 4. Subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down the 7. 17 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times the number I just wrote down, 4, is 16. 
17 minus 16 is 1, okay? So there will be 14, my quotient, my remainder is 1. There will be 14 full pages and one card will be left over. Okay, so you can see, so therefore, 4 times 14 is 56, then I would have one left over. Let's do another one. Oh, another 2. Okay, 6 divided by 5 is 1. 5 times 1 is 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. Bring it on down and bring it on back. Divide. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 15 is 0. So in this case, we have no remainder. 5 times 13 is 65. We can always uh, do use inverse, inverse operations and check. All right, so I'm going to do 13 times 5. 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 5, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, so we check out 65. Okay, let's do another one. 4 divided by 3 is 1. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Bring it on down and divide. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minus 15 is 0. Okie dokie. Um, let's do one more practice just because I want to make sure we get one with a remainder. Let's do 67 divided by 5. Okay, so divide 6 divided by 5 is 1. Multiply 5 times 1 is 5. Subtract. 6 minus 5 is 1. Bring it on down and bring it on back. Divide. 17 divided by 5 is 3. Multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. Subtract. 17 minus 15 is 2. And I have nothing else to bring down, so my remainder is 2. So my quotient is 13 and my remainder is 2. So there we go. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.